I have two STS WAD in my system, one with a frequency shifter, the other one with other modules, and uh, with this one I was not, never really happy with delay, so I thought I should use it differently than uh, just a delay. I'm going to show you how this goes to the scope, so I hope it doesn't disturb you. I take the A output. A because the delay on A is shorter, so it will oscillate way faster than on B. So I don't put anything in it, okay? I just take the feedback at the maximum, this one, right on the right, I'm going to show you. And I push the volume, the VCI, I open it, and it's a sine wave. It's not really, it's 7.2 points peak to peak, so it's not really high. So you have a frequency pot here, which is controllable via CV. And you have a filter which is also controllable via CV, so it's great. Now, instead of having a poor signal like this, I'm gonna make more feedback. Just take the output of A, put it in the input, and take the A output again. So it's feedback plus feedback. Wait, maybe I should show you first what it does when I go in this feedback. It does a very higher note. So this you could comp you could say this one is a square wave, kind of, in higher pitch, and this one is a more sine wave. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But just as I said before, I prefer to feedback it like this. So I, I'm going. I'm sending back the signal from the output. It makes a really perfect square wave. The amplitude is a bit bigger, larger. You have a filter again. I won't repeat it after, but so you can go to a really nice sine wave that you had before. You can change it. So you have really many possibilities to shape the waveform that you get out of the what perfect square wave and frequency. Sounds really good <laughs> actually. Going back here to show you what it does. You see if you send the signal back it's just take it out so don't be surprised huh, if you... That's why I stay here for my purpose showing you as audio source and I'm on hey here because it's shorter I can go and B, I will show you. <coughs> so if you ever think this, this frequency is too low, you can still take some, you can put some offset, of course, in the, in the frequency. Huh? I have, um, I have, a, I, I have this one gate out. Oops. I can, I can take plus 5 volt going out directly as an open gate huh? and change the frequency easily. So perfect square, huh? You can go up to... go back to a sign. Yeah, more or less. So I'm going to take the offset, I'm going to switch it off. So this is A, of course you kind of said you can go from sine to square, I mean mostly sine, huh? you understand what I mean. If you don't overdrive too much you get a sine. And of course you can morph it like having a sine oops sorry sine to square approximately. So if you take any CV uh, let's take a, an LFO. Oh I didn't check this but Wait, let's do something different. Let's 
sorry, I didn't prepare, so... Uh. So you can go from... from sine to square, huh? Ah, I need to set the scope, but you see what I mean. Okay, now... I have to, I make things quick because I can't remain too long on the on the machine um, for different reasons. So so let's say this is B uh, A. Now you can go on B. It's, the difference is that the signal is way dirtier when you when you push. The feedback and this sound is really great I like it I like it very much so you'll play with whatever knob and you this is a way you experiment with things you know just Maybe not in the way you thought it would it would work, but on third you can. You'll surely have some surprises. And you can see quite, I mean, yeah, maybe we could just do sequence it. Is this one working? It doesn't, huh? Sorry. So. Of course you can try with B output. You'll get different results. Now flanging is really cool one. I go on A here. So flanging. Okay, I put it on the right side. Again, you can have a sine wave to a square. And on B, you have a nice signal. I mean, a nice <laughs> signal I prefer for my ears. Like this one, for instance, <laughs> it's cool. Wow. So if you catch the right spot, can have very nice effect, very nice waveform, sorry. So I hope it inspires you to try out different surge modules a way you would not think it is made for but this is a great oscillator so to say with with wave shaping <laughs>
Yeah, I prefer B. Because it's dirtier. And, um, of course, you could take different outputs and mix them, mix them in a mixer and send them back or take them to the output. Yeah, it's infinite anyway. Okay, take care. Bye. So tooth. Wow, cool. This looks like square to sew on a buckler, for instance, two five eight. You can try. <laughs> Have fun. I should stop now. <laughs> 